What's up? Welcome to Chart Center. That's Christina. I'm Tetris, and I got to hang out with Leslie Odom Jr. And I'm very jealous, but we'll get to that in just a second. But first, I have a really serious question. Okay. Who is the king of country music? <laughs> Blake Shelton and Sturgill Simpson. Eh, wrong. Hell no. It's Dirks Bentley. His new album, Black, starts off at number two on the Billboard 200, which is the highest debut for any country album in 2016. It's always good when you see your album, your song, your record on, a, on Billboard. It's a story. The album really is a story that runs throughout the whole thing, starting with the song Black. It kind of chases down this relationship and just looks at love through this one relationship. And um, it's part autobiographical and part, you know, me just as a songwriter exploring some themes that I can't explore in my real life. He has just begun a tour that runs through September, and he's playing the CMA Music Fest this weekend. Oh, we need to get our cowboy hats mm -hmm. out, girl. What can fans expect? Just that six dudes on stage that are really excited to be there. So I have another question for you. Drake? Who is number one on Maybe the Billboard Drake. 200? Huh, or is it Drake? Can only mean one thing. He cannot be stopped. He is number one on the Billboard 200, and this makes it five weeks in a row. Pink is back in the top 10 of the Hot 100 for the first time since 2013 with Just Like Fire, which she performed at the Billboard Music Awards. Top performance. Mm -hmm. And I love Pink. But my girl Rihanna has two songs in the top 10 on the Hot 100, Needed Me, and This Is What You Came For with Calvin Harris. Man, I love that song. I still can't believe Calvin and Taylor Swift broke up. What? They broke up? Yes. Girl, you a lie. No, Hold on, we can text Taylor true. right now. I gotta it's get true. brunch and stack. <laughs> now, This Is What You Came For is a top contender for Song of the Summer. Oh, song of the Summer without Taylor, this mm -hmm. ain't right. Billboard Song of the Summer chart debuts this week, and we'll be following the race all season long. Yeah, last year's winner was Cheerleader by Omar. The front runners this year are Drake One Dance, Justin Timberlake Can't Stop the Feeling, and of course, Calvin Harris. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but we can't count out Kent Jones, Don't Mind. It's a potential dark horse. It moved up from 25 to 13 on the Hot 100 this week. It could be on track to make some noise this season. And we sent our correspondent Shira Carson to the streets to find out what songs fans think will be hot this summer. Shira, what you got? Thanks, Christina and Tetris. We are going around asking the real people on Times Square what their favorite song of the summer is going to be. Okay. This is too much pressure. <laughs> I have to go through my iPod. <laughs> work, 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 work. For Kendrick Lamar. He's decent. Drake. Don't know who he is. <gasps> what about Justin Bieber? Yeah. Do you like Justin Bieber? Kind of. I like Justin Bieber. I like him right now because he's through his teenager phase. <laughs> you heard it here first. Justin Bieber is a real man now. Mine is One Dance by Drake. Uh, what is that? Cake on the ocean. I love that. <laughs> Anything to do with Sabrina Carpenter and Taylor Swift. Do you know that Taylor Swift and Calvin Harris broke up? Wait, what? Is it? Oh my god. Well, it's definitely gotta be Panda. Panda by designer. Panda. 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 Do you like Megan Trainer? Yeah. My name is. No. And then what is your all-time favorite song of the summer? I'm an old guy. That's okay. A lot of uh, music from the 60s. Beatles. Stones. Eagles. Cream. What about the Beatles? Beatles are all right. Yeah. They are. He's like, eh, the Beatles are okay. Girls just want to have fun. After the balls of summer have gone. Give it to you. Back to you guys in the studio. I'm Shira Carson with Charts Center, and I am out. Don't believe me, just watch. Woo! Now you know, Tetris, the summer is also all about tours. Ooh, I can't, I can't wait. can't wait. Now we are going to tell you who is leading the pack as the season kicks off in our live look-in presented by StubHub. StubHub, your ticket out. Now this is kind of crazy because Axl Rose has come out of nowhere and is the hardest working man in music. Four performances with the reunited Guns N' Roses, including Two Nights at Coachella, I was there. Ooh. And they were huge hits with the fans, hugely successful at the box office. I know, and then following Coachella, Axl actually stepped in for frontman Brian Johnson of ACDC because he had to back out due to hearing problems. Oh wow, I didn't even know about I that. Know. Well, the tour is virtually sold out across Europe. Rocker Bust returns to the US in August for 10 dates in arenas across the country and is on track to be one of the highest grossing tours of all time. Petrus, I don't think anybody saw this coming. I definitely didn't <laughs> see it coming. I was blinded by Beyonce. I saw the Formation Tour earlier this summer and it might be one of the most successful tours of the year. 11 shows reported to Billboard so far have grossed 61 
$1.5 million and moved nearly a half a million tickets. Oof. I got hot sauce in my bag. Swag. Swag. All right, well, Tetris, let's get to it because I know that you hung out with somebody really cool earlier. You're right, I did hang out with Leslie Odom Jr. He's the star of Hamilton and he has a new album coming out. You know, no big deal. Well, it was pretty awesome, so you guys, check this out. Hey, we're here with Leslie Odom Jr. Leslie, I have to start by saying congratulations on the Tony nomination. Oh, thank you so much. Like, I appreciate it. And then coming off of, you won the Grammy for Hamilton yeah. as well, so are, are you shooting for the trifecta here? Yeah, we are. <laughs> yes, from one show. We're trying to EGOT. Now, you have this album coming out, June yes. 10th. Now, it's a collection of all the jazz songs. How hard was it to pick what songs you were going to do on this album? To get to the 10 songs that we chose, we have a process we look at about 30 or 40 tunes. You know, where we're fleshing them out with the musicians. We're just trying to see if anything is gonna stick, you know, if something is gonna seem authentic to who we are, if something's gonna work on a project that we decided to name right. <laughs> Leslie Odom Jr. Well, like you said, the album is self-titled, so did these songs mean a lot to you personally? I come to my producer at first with a list of tunes, and he sets that aside pretty early because he's like, look, we know the songs that you love and the songs you want to do, so we'll try those out. But he likes to do this thing where he puts a song in front of me and a piano player or a guitar player that we've never heard before and I learn it right then. It's, it's uncomfortable, you know, I learn it right then and so you're, you know, you're dealing with that perfectionism and, you know, showing that in, in front of other people and then right away you just sort of go with your first instinct and you try to find a version of it. So that's how we end up with a song like Joey, 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 nice. which is one of my favorite. We found an arrangement of that that felt authentic and that was a song I did not know before we started singing it that day. Everyone of course knows you from the stage production right now. Hamilton's doing so well. Mm. When the contract is ending soon, correct? Yes. Are we going to see you stay in the play? That's what everybody wants to know. There's a lot of unanswered questions and things that have to be tied up. I'm, I'm certainly open, um, but I will also say that if, if the journey ended for me on July 9th, that um, this has just been such a full and wonderful experience from beginning to end, and so I would not have any complaints if it ended on July 9th. So before I let you go, I want to make sure I wish you a very happy African American Music Appreciation Month, my friend. We only appreciate black music in one month? Yeah, you know, back in 1979, Jimmy Carter started it, Obama I mean, renamed it. Is it all music, African American music? What, what do you mean by that? Look, jazz. That one's easy, right? Okay. Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Ella, Billy, Louie, need I go on? Okay, I, I mean, I see your point there, but there's other genres. Okay, rock and roll. Come on, Chuck Berry basically invented rock and roll. Elvis, the Beatles, and the Rolling Stones all were basically obsessed with Chuck Berry. Okay, see, you think you're gonna stump me here, but I got you. What about country? Country. That's easy. Did you know the banjo was actually brought to the United States from West Africa? I did not know that. Even dance music. Okay, do I really need to explain our contribution to dance music? Even river dance. You ever heard the term black Irish? See, I don't think that's what that means. I listen to all music. I listen to white artists. Who's your favorite artist right now? Um, favorite, somebody tell me white artist. Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake is amazing. <laughs> Are you not saying we shouldn't celebrate? I have a really good way that I think you could celebrate it. You can take out your phones right now. Okay. And you could pre-order that new Leslie Odom <laughs> Jr. self-titled jazz album debut. I felt like that was coming. If I pre-order the album, I will get the single. Absolutely, Autumn Leaves. All right, so everybody, June 10th, go pre-order the album now. You'll get Autumn Leaves. It's released on S-Curve Records. Go check it out. Thanks, Leslie, for speaking with us. Thank you so much. Now, who wants to talk about next week? I want to talk about next no, week. No, I want to talk about next, talk week. about next week. Well, let's talk about it. This is Next Week Now, presented by StubHub. Now, our boy Sean Mendez has healed. His stitches are gone. And his new song, Treat You Better, just came out Friday. So hopefully it does really good on the charts. He even released an acoustic performance on Twitter. And you follow him, right? I definitely follow him on Twitter. That is why I know that he is currently gearing up for the next stretch of his tour that will crisscross the country this July and August. I'm really excited about it. We're doing some huge venues, which is like crazy to me. I think Philadelphia. We're doing like 13,000 and stuff, so it's a really big step in my career. One of our faves, B. Miller, was in town. She's actually opening for Selena Gomez's tour, which was at Barclays Center. And she actually debuted on the Hot 100 last year with her single, Fire and Gold. Yes, well, she is back with a brand new single, Yes Girl. And our very own Shira Carson is with her in our Billboard studios, where she is gearing up for a very special performance. Ooh, take it away, girl.
Girl. Thanks so much, Christina and Tetris. I'm here with B Miller for Chart Center. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. You are on tour with Selena Gomez right now, yep. her revival tour. Mm -hmm. How's it going so far? I actually was a little scared going into this because I've never done a full length arena tour. And I get a lot of tweets after like, I didn't know B Miller before today, but now I like her music and she's really cool and I'm gonna go look into that more. So it's going really well. I'm having a really good time. Tell me a little bit about Yes Girl, because you will be performing it for Chart Center in one minute. But yeah. tell us a little bit about first. I've had like a six month period recently where I was really struggling with kind of being comfortable telling people what I want in a way that I felt like I didn't sound rude or I didn't sound like I was really being hard to deal with. And I realized recently that this is who I am and this is what I want to say and what I want to do. And most of the time people will eventually be like, okay. And I really wrote it for myself as a reminder for myself every time I sing it, like you are stronger than that and you can be your own number one fan. Tell you what you wanna hear. The truth is always in the way. I never wanna live in fear. I don't wanna hold back all the things I need to say. you figured out you need to have control you think that I don't know you I know you I know trying to tell you now I've been doing what you want but I won't be your yes girl no not anymore just let me go just let me go I won't be Just let me go I won't be your yes girl No, not anymore You used to always let me in Do you even know you changed? Just let me go, just let me go, I won't